of course. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. Um, just want to do a little video today, just spotlighting one of my favourite characters in all of Star Wars. Favourite Jedi, probably on par with Plo Koon. It is indeed Quinlan Voss. Now these are three of his four action figures that have been made. I am missing one. Um, two of them come in comic packs. Uh, the one I'm missing comes with uh, Clone Commander Fey. And he has sort of a little bit more of a Jedi outfit. Very much like this one. Very much the same figure. Um, slightly different face, I believe. And uh, he sort of has sleeves instead of the sort of shirtless, sleeveless look he has here. So these two came in a comic back together. Quinlan Voss and the Deveronian Vilmar Grark. Really great characters. Quinlan Voss had quite a deep story in the old expanded universe. And I'm glad they've used... A lot of that sort of that material in the current canon mostly here in Star Wars Dark Disciple which is my favorite book as a Clone Wars fan this was this book was meant to be is believed to be eight episodes meant to be two full story arcs and it would have uh, completely painted the Jedi and their methods into a different light going into Revenge of the Sith. And of course, I do also have the Quinlan Voss Omnibus. I haven't read this in quite a few years, but it's a great read. There's Vilma there. Definitely Chronicles. Some of the biggest story points in his life in the old expanded universe. That's a great, great read, that one. And then we have his appearance in The Clone Wars, which is uh, still one of my favorite animated Clone Wars figures. And uh, the episode he was in, season two's Hunt for Zero. It's one of my favourite episodes of all time. So back in 2011, pretty sure it was 2011, we got this figure here, part of the Phantom Menace wave. Now this is where, this is the scene where um, Anakin stops the confrontation between Jar Jar and Sebulba. And there is just this gentleman here who is just sort of sitting there watching it all ensue. And uh, he, was both, he was just intended to be a background character, but they built a story around this character. Um, he became Quinlan Voss, and he was sort of a Jedi undercover. You can kind of see he has a saber hilt there, but I believe that was added later. So it's still a very sort of strange card back to have for this character. I always thought it was a little bit odd. Uh, here is the figure that came out in 2011. Could have been 2011, 2012. I honestly can't remember exactly. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a great figure. Um, but for people that were highly invested in sort of comic lore and stuff, this was the, this was the outfit that he used most. And of course, that was carried over into the Clone Wars. You can sort of see the two styles there, sort of pretty close. And they ditched the idea of him using a blaster, as he did here, because he always had a blaster. He was called the Jedi with a gun. It was one of his monikers. So they took away... No, they left that concept, sorry. They took it away in the Clone Wars, but they left it with this figure. Because he does have a holster there, I just don't have the blaster in it. So I actually really like the head sculpt, I think it looks great. I just felt like the uh, the body was sort of just generic Jedi, Jedi outfit. 
and uh, this sort of body would be better suited to another one, to another Jedi of sorts. So it's just the other day I sort of realized, decided to do a little bit of tweaking with these figures. Um, Clone Wars one, he's staying as he is. He's fantastic. I really like the look. He's great. Really nice. I did review him probably close to 10 years ago. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's fantastic. Really great figure. Love Quinlan Boss. So looking at this one, now the thing that sort of... You now the head sculpt isn't the best. More so the face paint isn't the best. He's sort of a little bit of a blank look on his face. He's tends to be a little bit sterner. Like this guy. Nevertheless, it's still cool. But uh, what I've done is I've actually taken this head off and it works too because uh, the skin tone of his face doesn't necessarily match the body, which makes me think that, um, let me just pop him back on the stand here. It makes me think that the other figure came first. And they sort of, uh, see so the skin tone on his face is different to his neck and arms. So what I actually did is I've sort of shaved down the ball joint a little bit just because it's quite a lot bigger than this one. So I've put this head on this body. And that looks so much better for me. <laughs> that one still doesn't look quite right, but um, I may save this for something else. Yeah, I really like the look of this one. I also switched out his lightsabers because the one this one comes with, sort of a slightly bent, uh, it's sort of real sort of soft plastic. Could probably heat it in some hot water, but this one here, <laughs> sorry about the mess. This one here is far superior. It's nice and rigid, good sculpt. It looks great on the figure. And I feel like this one here is a more realistic interpretation of the canon Clone Wars Quinlan Voss. I sort of toyed with the idea of cutting that hair off there, but I think it's fine. He sort of has it sort of, it's not sure if it's cut off or just sort of tucked back. But uh, it still works. So I decided I'm going to keep this Quinlan Voss like this. And uh, hopefully get some shots with him. Hopefully get some cool toy photos. Like I said, my favourite episode is uh, Hunt for Zero. And he teams up with Obi-Wan. So I get the uh, realistic vintage collection. Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Clone Wars and team these guys up for a bit of a battle. I think that would be great. Yeah, the articulation's not as good. This one has this one here has the uh, ball jointed hips. Does have a peg for his lightsaber. I thought about switching them around, but again, he's sort of got these sort of just generic Jedi boots, pants. The whole outfit's pretty much just a standard Jedi. Whereas this one, this is more Quinlan Voss to me. He's sort of got the wraps around the legs. It's only got the swivel hips, but that works still. They're, they're not bad at all. Sort of more weathered, dirty tunic. I think this one's a great figure. So there we have it. There's a, bit, a little bit of a chat about Quinlan Voss. I really like this guy a lot. And uh, if Hasbro would want to put him in Black Series any time they want, that would be the best. He needs to look like this. You know, you can tweak him a little bit. Go for a more realistic version of 
this guy. But he would look pretty close to this, I imagine, when you get to that point. So yeah, he's, he's absolutely awesome. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So thanks for tuning in. Until my next video, may the force be with you, always. Thank <laughs> you.